Yo, what's up guys? Back at you with another video on today and this video is called Lonzo Struggles and we're going to talk about it. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, pretty much guys, I've been watching a lot of Lakers games out here on the West Coast and you know what it is. Um, I'm going to go in on Lonzo Ball's uh, struggles because he seemed to have the same struggles that he had last season and he has not really progressed and got better like I thought he would in year two. You know, a lot of people say that um, Lonzo is a pass first point guard, but um, if you look at his statistics, it doesn't really look like that. Um, if you're a pass first point guard, you're going to be able to give anywhere between seven to ten assists a game, and Lonzo really doesn't do that. He's not really a great free throw shooter, and we already know that he has struggles with his shot. Um, over the summer, Lonzo Ball tried to... Uh, changed the mechanics on his shot and uh you know rightfully so because the shot was kind of an awkward shot but um i don't know man you know what i'm saying this guy is really really struggling um in the nba right now um i know that lavar ball bragged on his son and said how good lonzo is and lonzo is a winner and lonzo this and lonzo that and you know rightfully so any man would brag on that son you know what i'm saying i, I don't knock LeVar Ball for that, for bragging on Lonzo and saying Lonzo this, Lonzo that. But at the same time, um, Lonzo has not lived up to the hype. And sometimes you can put so much hype on a player where they're not able to carry out what you think that they should be doing in the NBA. Lonzo has great size on him at 6'6". Um, he can handle the ball pretty well, and he defends well um, at times too. But the biggest thing is Lonzo has been struggling to be a consistent scorer. And that's what I see where his struggles is coming in at is that he's not consistent with scoring the ball. You know, in the West where the uh, point guard dominates out in the West, you know, you got some of the best point guards, Chris Paul. You have, um, um, you got Steph Curry. You have um, Russell Westbrook, Damian Lillard, guys of that nature. And these guys are scorers and um, they can put points up. And that's something that Lonzo has been struggling with and something that he's going to have to continue to work on is his free throw shooting ability because the Lakers are one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the NBA. He's going to have to work on his free throws and he's going to have to work on being a more consistent scorer. You're not asking Lonzo to go out and score 20 uh, points a game. You're asking him to give you at least 14 to 15 a game with um, at least uh, between 7 and 10 assists a game if he can do that. You know, Ron, uh, Rajon Rondo has not been playing right now, and LeBron James is not playing right now. So these uh, these young boys should be able to get an opportunity to really show showcase what they really can do, and they really have not been doing that. They have been struggling. Him and Brandon Ingram have really, really been struggling to uh, find their niche, and uh, that's something that they're going to have to work out. You know, other than, other than that, man, um, these guys probably would be trade bait. Because this is not what Magic Johnson envisioned for Alonzo Ball to uh, be struggling like this. Um, he envisioned that he was getting a point guard that was going to be able to get everybody else involved, be a playmaker, play some good defense, and uh, get some buckets as well. And Alonzo is really, really struggling. So, um, you know, if the, if the Lakers can't get Alonzo to play and go higher in his game, they're going to have to eventually probably trade. And I hate to say this, guys. They're going to have to probably trade Lonzo Ball because he's really not panning out. And he's not the player that everybody thought that he was going to be. He's not really turning out to be that player. So he's going to have to go back to the drawing board and really, really, really stress and work on his game um, and get better. I don't know if they need to send him down to the G League. I don't know what the Lakers need to do. But Lonzo needs to get better. You know what I'm saying? He he does good on-ball defense at times, but he just struggles with his consistency of scoring. And you're not asking this guy to put up huge numbers. You're just asking him to be consistent, and that's something that they need from him. So, I mean, I know LeVar Ball you know, made all these comments about his son and said how good and how great he was and how, bad, how uh, he was better than Steph Curry, and we know that's not true. But... um. Lonzo, he's going to have to go back to the drawing board and figure out how to get his game better. And they might have to send him down to the G League. 
All right, you guys, this is TA of Noble Sports Entertainment. I'd like to thank you guys for um, stopping by the channel on today. And as always, we talk sports, period. Peace.